morning. I'm Professor Philip Napier. I'm the head of the School of Fine Art, and it's really nice to meet you this morning. Thank you for zooming in. And um, I'm sure you're aware you're going to be able to access other presentations from our departments. That's the Department of Painting, Department of Sculpture and Expanded Practice, the Department of Print, the Department of Media, and the Department of Applied Materials, which is textile art and artifact and hard materials which includes ceramics and glass. So I hope you'll take an opportunity to access those Zoom presentations. The School of Fine Art is one of the big four engines at NCAD, the big four schools. And these include fine art, design, education, and visual culture, which teaches through critical cultures. And together we kind of provide a momentum, if you like, and an energy toward um, making an impact uh, in our society and culture through our visual means. And we do this by kind of holding a critical ballast in terms of creativity, which gives it a kind of an energy, uh, a density, a kind of a seriousness and a momentum. And so you'll hear lots of uh, programs talk about creativity, but at NCAD, we really know how to deliver that. So we have a suite of uh, 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 studios, uh, workshops, in order to support people learning through the act of making artwork and making visual things communicate visually. So through lectures, through crits, through discussions, through tutorials, through our studios and through our workshops, we're able to manipulate all kinds of materials, all kinds of things and hold discursively what is at issue now in our culture. What is an issue now and what we imagine might be part of our future. So this negotiation of now and for the future is part of what we expect you to be engaging with. And we'd really love to see you here, of course, you know, and all sorts of people come to the School of Fine Art. Some come because they're really culturally aware, because they're kind of already engaged in making things, because they're already making connections um, between things they see, things they make, things they touch, and so, of course, we want your applications. Of course, we do. Other people are at the, at the beginning of that, that those things are in formation, that they're making things and doing things and making connections. It's at a little bit of an earlier stage. And that's quite right. That's what we're here for. We're here to carry that learning forward. Other people have this thing going on that they're really interested in, you know, that they're kind of discovering about that gives them a sort of a buzz but it doesn't quite seem to fit elsewhere or it doesn't quite seem to um, have a name on it yet. We're very used to those scholarships in the School of Fine Art. We've had them for a very long time and we think we can really meet you. So we'd like to see your applications. Other people, of course, want to be in a band. People who want to be in a band have always come to Art College about sounding out into the culture. And we've lots of ways in our expanded practices in which we kind of help people to sound out uh, within the fine art and artist frame in lots of different ways and we'd like to see you too. Lots of people didn't quite manage to get to art college the first time but maybe would love to have had. Maybe somebody dissuaded them, maybe they were looking away, maybe they were thinking very hard about other things at the time or maybe there wasn't the economy and their time is now and we'd love to welcome you here you know those are mature students in university terms, that's over 23. We'd love to see you here. We expect to see you here. So it's within this kind of wide diversity of people uh, that an art college lives and breathes. You know, So people from different economies, different ethnicities, different backgrounds, different economies, all sorts of things that make people similar and different are how we kind of um, build a student cohort thinking about our culture now and for the future as it shape shifts. So this really is your time. The other thing that we think seriously is that, you know, this is the place where we make artists and visual communicators of the future. We also have the museum directors in formation, the arts officers, the cultural brokers, the, maker of, the makers of commodities, the owners of galleries, the buyers, the sellers, the services, all of those things that we imagine culture can be, what society, uh, thrives upon um, that we have imagined and the things that we haven't imagined yet. So we also have our corporates talking about uh, our students or their need for an ability for people to think laterally and a people, people to project forward to audience. 
people to have planned, people to be able to make things, to event things, but also to link across, you know, um, different constituencies of um, knowing uh, energy possibility. And I think that's really what we teach at our college. We teach an agility across visual matter. We're also teaching through the idea of materiality, you know, the stuff that our world is made of, you know, those materials, those ones we know, those new materials, those different combinations, those different translations, the different ways we can manipulate this through our kind of our studios and our commanded machines. We also think of things digitally, of course, because we live in a digital world. We all have our hands on um, mobile phones, powerful tools of information, powerful tools of connection, powerful tools of meeting an audience. And this idea of a digital framing is part of all our lives. So these twins of a material way of knowing and a digital way of knowing and those things separately and in combination are what make our kind of momentum outward facing. So we talk to our field, but we also talk beyond our field. And we do this by being informed globally. You know, art is a global, visuality is a global matter now. And we expect to be informed from all over and we expect to inform. So we have European vehicles and European funded projects that you can be part of. We have Erasmus uh, residency in other countries, North America and Europe, in our partner art schools that you can avail of in our uh, Studio Plus uh, outward facing optional extra year. This allows you to live abroad. So in order to kind of make a comparison, make a relativity. And we know that our young people you know, are well-traveled, curious in the world. So we're really interested in this idea of a curiosity that looks at and starts to value the assets that we have here, but that a, um, a curiosity that's informed by ways of thinking, ways of knowing, or ways of doing, ways of making, ways of eventing from beyond these shores as well. It's really important to us. So it's a really great space here. It's full of people, you know, trying to solve things, trying to make a momentum. And we'd love to see you in this, you know. Um, we think it's a great time to be engaged in art practice as our economy starts to shape shift. Anyway, I hope you'll avail of the Zoom uh, uh, activities that we have for you. I'd like you to think a little bit about your portfolio too. And there's lots of information about what, to, what goes into a portfolio. But we'd be interested too in the things that make you, you, you know, whether you're interested in issues, whether you're volunteering, the kind of the films you look at, the books you read, the things that you access that in order to kind of, uh, that makes sense to you. We'd like you to find some way of including those things that maybe don't, aren't easy to meet an aesthetic with, you know, that don't easily sort of sit within uh, a curriculum or make an easy aesthetic. We'd like you to find a way of telling us a little bit about those important things. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. And it's really nice to have spoken to you. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.